Christian society is not looking to be a part of another organization that is battling over the irre irrelevant issue. But God is looking for something synergy. Shall we say amen? Amen. So what we need today is get energized to synergize. Yes. Come on. Yes. Because if we come together, church, we is stronger together. Yes. Hello. Amen. That's what Pastor O'Donnell illustrated the instrument a while ago. Praise God. If you just play only one instrument, praise God, you can still produce a music. But if they play together, what a harmonious, a dynamic sound. The same as in the church. Hallelujah. If we come together in one spirit and link to the King of Kings, I told you, we get energized. Hallelujah. To synergize. Everybody can praise the Lord. Just like the ants, if they want to provide their food, they must come together yes. to pull the one worms or centipede to bring in their place. One ant cannot be able to pull the, the worm, but if they come together, we are stronger together. Praise the Lord. A while ago, I, I, I'm sorry for this, but I keep observing. Sometimes we are break. When the choir singing, we are not together. Because if we come together, we become stronger. Yeah. How can you worship God with your video. And you finish all the choir singing with your video and you didn't worship God. There's no synergy on that. Hello. Sabihin mo sa'yo sarili, oh me. But I want to tell you this afternoon, get energized. To synergize. Why, Pastor? Because a synergy. Moa. A synergy is where different entities cooperate advantageously for a final outcome. Simply defined, it means that the effect of the whole is greater than the sum of the effect of the individual parts. Hello. If used in a business application church, it means the teamwork will produce an overall better result than each person was working toward the same goal individually. That's why this church, there is one goal, one vision, and we have one certain place. Not to evangelize people and Establish another church by your own? No, no, the other one. We are working together, hand by hand, hallelujah, for the lost soul, for one vision, for one purpose, hallelujah. And we have a certain destiny that God prepared for us. That's why God, Jesus said, do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. That is our goal. We have a certain destiny. Clap your hands for the glory of the Lord. Woo! The heart of God is broken with grief over his fractured family. Hello. Amen. Dissension and disunity have hindered more revivals. More souls to be saved and to be filled with the Holy Ghost. 
Because the lack of synergy, my friend, has squelched more revival, more energized lives, more community transformation than the world or they could even imagine. But if we come together, I tell you, whether you like it or not, we will reach our goal. We will reach our vision. People see the need for synergy today. Because synergy, there is power. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Because if the body of Christ could unite together as one, could anything stop us? Because we are solid one. That's what the Bible said, how good and pleasant is when brothers live together in unity. And Jesus knew that the power, the energy to change the world came from the synergized team people. Hello? This is why he recruited the 12 disciples in the New Testament. When he started his ministry, the first thing he did was to start form his team. The 12 disciples synergize. And Jesus knew in his human nature, amen, he knew God intimately. And he was directed to use the team to change the world. Are you there? Amen. And today this is the still that the will of the blood of God for the kingdom of God. The Lord is a cause. Hello. And he is putting us through training camp so that we can learn to become unbeatable. Hallelujah. Synergize them. And thank God we have our preaching point that could everybody train to preach the word of God. This the word of God. But we are one, not individual. Clap your hands to the glory of God. If you want to accomplish anything for the Lord, you need to comprehend that you must be a part of the team. Amen. 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 The church, the whole body of Christ. And the next step toward unlocking the door of transformation in a community is found in synergized teamwork. Brother Johnny, the man must be solid. Amen. Amen. Shall we say amen? Amen. Because there are many teachings spoken today that God uses Superman. God uses a woman to his work. They focus a rugged individualism as the key to success in ministry. But I want to tell you, and also they promote the long Superman image. Hello. The long ranger image. But if you read the book of Acts, you discovered it takes a synergized team to build a church to spread the kingdom of God. Hello. No need to rent the Hollywood actress and actors or the actress in the Philippines, amen, to ask them to stand up in the platform and sing for the Lord. So that the people, hallelujah, could become closely. Because the one who sings in the platform is, you know, a profile person. No need to become a profile person. Amen. If your heart is right and you are filled with the Holy Ghost. And we are in unity, hallelujah. And energized with the power of God. No need the Hollywood actor and actresses. Hallelujah to evangelize, to use them, to evangelize the world. You and me, the whole church, will have the power because you are energized. You are linked to the power of God. We can reach the world. We can turn the world upside down because there is a big world. Praise the Lord. It's in the book of Acts, my friend. In Acts 6, 1 to 7, the choosing of the seven. And note the thing grew bigger and more effective. The 
that's what in the book of Acts. Even in Acts 11, teamwork in action with Barnabas took Saul under his wing to work together. That's what Pastor O'Donnell said. Everybody say amen. amen. Acts 12, 12 to 17, there is a teamwork in prayer. When Peter was placed in a prison and the believers gathered at John's mother's home to pray for a miracle. Synergy. They come together and it happened. Woo! And Jesus is the role model how we are to build team and work in the team concept. Because that is, is where the power comes from. Everybody say amen. amen. The book of Acts verify that God uses time or just teamwork to spread the gospel. He uses synergized teamwork to unleash and sustain relief effort for this world. Do not think only in yourself that you are belong to this church. Ah, we have crusaders in the church. No need to go. You stay in the church because had a good weather inside. Hmm. Oh. You are not the part of the team. Yes. Hello. That's right. We need to cooperate. Amen. We need to be a part. Hello. Amen. And Jesus does this by using different people of different position on his team or in his dream team. Hello. Amen. Some will play defense, some offense, some will coach, some will be special team players, some will be ready to get up, amen, off the bench and fill in for one who gets injured. Hello. Because champion, championship team know the importance of placing the right people in the right position. So they can win the game and eventually win the Super Bowl. Hello? Amen. Because this takes many people with different shapes, different sizes, different speed, different agility, different gifts, different ability, and the like. But the more diversity a team has on its team, the more able they are to win the games. Because they are synergized. That's the point. They have the teamwork. Everybody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's what the Bible illustration. Mike Murdoch makes this observation. Amen. He says, Look at those who are, are surrounded by Jesus. When he gathered the team, a tax collector, a physician, a fisherman, a woman who has a prostitute at one time possessed with seven devils. That's what he still. We have different shortcomings. But we are striving to become perfect in the sight of God. Amen. But the things inside is, there is the motive, the purpose, the mission, hallelujah, the goal to come together for Jesus. Amen. Not for yourself, but for Jesus. Amen. Come on, love the Lord, church. And there are some also poor people in the team. Some were wealthy, some were very energetic. Hello? While others were passive. Some were explosive, like Pedro. Others, like James, were logical. Kami nilang mga differences. But Jesus called them in one place. Yes. To synergize and energize with the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The 
That's why when they show up to the world, amen, there's no such clouds behind them. But it, hallelujah, illuminate now the power that energized their life, the power that could able to change their life. 